somebody earning the 20 lakh plus 30 lakh plus kind of a salary don't have a wealth advisor that they could really approach so uh, i'm a chartered accountant by qualification i did uh, directly investing and then i did bank consulting sometimes But what was the idea I means uh, were you faced certain problems in between this is the reason why the startup uh, came up so uh, for, without further delay uh, i just like to have a brief introduction of yours and your startup yes so um, i'm a chartered accountant by qualification i did uh, private equity investing and then i did branch consulting for some time uh, post which i started all twelve um and the founder of all cells the idea is that we want to be the go to wealth advisor for for an affluent indian uh, yeah starting from financial planning wealth management to tax planning and uh, anything in between okay so you are aiming to become india's first digital relationship management investment advisory platform right so this is the yeah. crux about it correct uh, yeah. it's not exactly digital but uh, digital first but a relationship manager enabled service so so yeah. uh, what would be what was the idea I means uh, were you face certain problems in between this is the reason why the startup uh, came up because uh, you were with boston as well and you are a to as well in ca well so uh, means what i mean how the the Uh, how all twelve means the idea came into your mind. So this was something that I've been thinking about since a couple of years. Uh, you know, the H and I market was very well sufficiently catered to, uh, but somebody earning the twenty lakh plus thirty lakh plus kind of a salary don't have a wealth advisor that they could really approach. Okay. And that is where you know saw that there is a large market. to be solved for uh, primarily with the financial literacy going up over the last few years mm-hmm. uh, saw that the requirement for something like this exists at this point and at okay. that time is when i thought that there should be something more that i would want to do in this uh, segment okay so uh, i guess you will be using it means uh, the startup caters to use the ai and ml technology as well Yes, so we're looking to use generative AI to solve some of the tech-related tech issues uh, to make it more efficient in terms of operations. But AI is not being used for providing investment advice. Yeah. Investment advice okay. is still being internally uh, handled through humans itself. So, uh, I guess all twelve means it's been a year uh, for all twelve. Ah, uh, it's almost been a year. Almost okay, year. so down the line, what are your means means right now? How much it has? means uh, your goals are achieved or what uh, other goals are you you are having for all swell i mean the goals are large so yeah working towards it on a daily basis uh looking to uh, you know onboard more customers i think that's kind of where we are uh, in our journey uh, mm-hmm. we've launched our beta and we've launched a pilot we started acquiring customers so okay. we'll acquire more customers serve more customers learn more from the market And yeah, deliver value to our customers. Okay, so the startup is all bootstrapped, or is currently there? Currently bootstrapped. Okay, We're currently bootstrapped. Right. Okay, so uh, even uh, I got to know that you are a co-founder with Cyan Automation. So can you tell yes. us a brief about that as well? No, this was basically this is taken care by a friend of mine. Uh, okay. I'm more, I'm more like a sleeping partner there. Okay. I initially worked with him. to set it up and then he is the one who takes care of it full time okay got it so uh, when it comes to all wealth means uh, how it means how does the name came all wealth uh, it it basically means asset liability transactions and savings okay and also okay. an alternative to somebody else that you would be using and providing mm-hmm. access to alternatives is also something that we want to do so okay So was this your own brainchild or uh, yeah. was it a collaborative? So I came up with the idea and then started building the team together to execute the idea. You got that. So means uh, presently, how many members are there in your startup? Means uh, is it usually? We are uh, seven of us. Seven of us, and the startup is based in Bengaluru only. Yes. Okay. 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 Uh, so and what about your competitors how are you better means yeah. we don't take a commission 
we take okay. out fees, flat fees. Uh, typically, the industry is driven towards commission, and everybody uh, yeah. takes a commission. So for okay. us, it's about a flat fee that we charge, irrespective of the size of the AUM or the size of the investment that there exists. So that's how we primarily are different from other people. Okay. So down means uh, till uh, means it's been a year. So how uh, has been the cost? Means the feedback from your clients. Means if you can provide a gist about it as well. I mean, sometimes when the clients talk to us about some of the problems they have, I'm baffled because in my mind they're very basic problems. But just to understand that mm-hmm. these are the problems people are facing, you know, it just gives a lot more validity to the idea that we have. Uh, mm-hmm. Customers love it. Customers uh, were searching for something like this, and they've been able to get something like this. Mm-hmm. That is something. which is basically great to have yeah so yeah i mean customers love it we are iterating on the product we are iterating on the service as well after so happy okay. happens yeah so uh, means till now you are having the services like uh, product equities are there there are mutual funds bonds private debts i guess uh, derivatives and all so uh about means in the service lane only you will be uh, means you are providing all these services right now means as you said that it is in the beta process only so you okay no we don't service. service we don't provide all the service right now we primarily into financial planning uh, mutual fund advisory and uh, tax planning tax return okay planning. insurance is something that we're slowly building so we are in the process of integrating other products as well Okay, and uh, means what? What would it means right now? What are your target audience? Target clients means basically individuals who are having a twenty L P A plus salary or basically everyone. Correct. Correct. So somebody earning a twenty L P A plus kind of a salary, somebody sitting on a ten lakh plus kind of a portfolio, looking mm-hmm. for advisory. That's the target segment. That's the target. Nice. So, uh, means you, uh, you you don't have any commission base. You're only charging two fees. So if uh, means. If we can have a normal structure, means what? Uh, how are the services? How how means normal plan? What are the basic plan a client can ask for? Go for it. So we have a three thousand rupees per quarter plan, which basically okay. includes uh, everything and one income tax return to be filed uh, for one particular individual. We have a four thousand five hundred rupee quarter per quarter plan, which is basically into for two people, two income tax mm-hmm. returns. You know, typically for a husband and wife. that is uh, okay. that is the two ones that are very active okay. so uh, what i believe is many a time uh, means if an individual who is having a 20 20 lpa salary so uh, right means uh, if uh, he is having a 20 lpa salary means there are two regimes right now the tax lab there are there is the old regime and there is the new regime so uh, as per your understanding i means what uh, advice do will you give means which regime should one follow I mean, it depends on the deductions that you have, and uh, mm-hmm. completely personalized. I mean, I won't be able to tell you which one to follow because yeah. it depends on what deductions you have and what kind of income tax rates you have. Okay. Okay. So, uh, and uh, means uh, then too means if a twenty LPA person means a uh, ten to twenty LPA means what would the best advice uh, you might give when it comes to portfolio management means where to put in more the lump sum uh see this again hyper personalized and that's where we come in right if it was that easy to just mention it mm. as a as something that you could do for everyone mm. then there are a lot of platforms which offer this then i'm not giving any value uh, the yeah. value comes in understanding you as a person and understanding what is it that you would want to do with your money what are the goals what is the time frame of the goals and that's very personalized and that's when we come in and we craft that particular investment plan especially for mm. you okay so yeah i mean that's where we are yeah so uh, apart from that down the lane what uh, what are the aims means uh, the future aims of all wealth what are you thinking what are you targeting next means a, a particular client base clientele base you might be having in mind uh that kind of confidential information but uh, you know we're looking yeah. to expand our products and we're looking to expand our clientele across multiple different segments of the society as well okay nice 
So, any more any more advices that you would be having from for our majorly financial enthusiasts who would be who might be going into the same field as a as a wealth management uh, associate and all in this particular career? Um, having a holistic mindset really helps. I think uh, people come with a very biased mindset, and I think opening that mind up to think about other possibilities is something that would really help. Think that's okay. something that wealth managers would inculcate. Okay, and in uh, means if they want to take this particular career only, so is MBA is the only option, or there are other options as well? Um, honestly, no. I mean, there is nothing that this is the only option as such. Uh, mm. It can be anything. I mean, I know of engineers who are wealth managers. Uh, mm-hmm. It. It's primarily about knowing the right thing. So you can be a M Com, you can be a B Com, you can be a CA, you can be an MBA. So ultimately, how well can you service the client? Okay, nice. So uh, I guess Abhishek, my questions are over.